Ayun, class, no? So, we're down na to our last problem for operating list model under ng lessees accounting. So, problem number 3. Ayan, medyo comprehensive siya ng konti compared dun sa last two problems na diniscuss natin dun sa previous uh, video tutorial. No? So, itong problem number 3, meron itong 3 questions. Number one, the, the amount of rent expense to be reported by Bang Chan Corporation for the year 20X1, 20X2, and 20X3. So, bago natin sagutan itong problem na to class, no? um, i-recap muna natin yung mga pinag-usapan natin dun sa theory ng operating lease model. Particularly yung composition ng rent expense. So, isulat natin dito, class, ha? Kasi ito yung magiging guide natin to solve itong problem number 3. So, ano ba yung composition class ng rent expense? Ayan. Number 1, so, syempre, yung periodic rent payment. Ayan. Periodic rent payment. Adjusted for, um, or adjusted ng lease incentives. Okay? Ayan. Adjusted for lease incentives. Number two, we have lease bonus na ina-amortize natin over the lease term. And number three, yung tinatawag nating contingent rent. So, yung rent expense dito sa operating lease model is composed ng tatlong ito. Yung aggregate ng tatlong yan, yan yung rent expense sa operating lease model. Okay? So, basahin na natin itong problem number three. On January 1, 20X1, Bang Chan Corporation, the lessee, entered a lease contract for machinery with another entity and classified the lease as an operating lease. Additional information about the lease contract is as follows. So, number one, the machinery will be rented for a monthly rental of 2,000 pesos for the first two years. Okay. And will be adjusted accordingly every two years. The lease term is six years. So, sa number one class, no, yung um, number one na provision ng lease contract. So, pasok siya dun sa periodic rent payment. So, yan yung periodic rent payment ng lease contract. Okay? Number two, so binanggit kanina sa number one class, no, it will be adjusted accordingly every two years. Yung rent. Okay? The escalation clause section of the contract calls for a 10% increase in annual rental fee every two years. Okay, every two years. This escalation will affect rentals for the year 20X3 and every two years thereafter. So, ibig sabihin class, yung annual rent, no, yung annual rent, every 2 years is mag increase by 10%. Okay? Ayan. Number 3, the lessor shall grant a free rent period for 6 months. So, merong lease incentive, which is yung free rent, na good for 6 months. The rental payment starts in July 20X1. The lease contract states that 1% of annual revenue from using the machine or 10% of net income will be paid as additional rent, whichever is lower. So, si Bang Chan Corporation class, no, iririmit niya kay lessor yung 1% ng annual revenue or 10% of net income, whichever is lower. So, itong number 4 na ito class, this is an example of contingent rent. So, meron ng contingent rent dito sa problem number 3. So, wala tayong nabasang lease bonus, no? So, wala yung lease bonus dito sa problem number 3. Ayan. The summary of total revenue and expenses reported by Bang Chan Corporation from the use of machine in 20X1 to 20X3 were as follows. So, given na rent class, no? Yung revenues and expenses uh, from the use of machine from 20X1 to 20X3. Calculate the following. So, ang talong lang naman dito, class, no? Yung rent expense. And again, class, no? Yung rent expense is composed ng tatlong ito. Yeah.
So, syempre, class, computein muna natin yung rent expense from periodic rent payment. Okay, dito na lang, no? Periodic rent payment. Okay, so 20x1. The monthly rental is 2,000. Okay, however, class, no? There is a least incentive for 6 months. Free rent yung 6 months. Ibig sabihin, kung free yung 6 months, yung may bayad, 6 months din. The rental payment starts in July 20x1. So, July to December, that's 6 months. Kaya, 2,000 times 6 equals 12,000 pesos. Okay? So, ito yung binayaran ng 20x1. 20x2, so syempre 2,000 monthly rental times 12, that's 24,000. Okay? Ngayon class, since ito na yung first two years, take note na merong escalation clause section yung lease contract. Wherein mag-i-increase yung annual rental every two years. So ibig sabihin class, pagdating ng 20x3, Pagdating ng 20x3, 2,000 times 12 equals 24,000. However, class, sabi nga dito, annual rental fee will increase by 10% every 2 years. And since ito ay, or since ito ay um, nakalipas na yung first 2 years, itong 24,000 na to will increase by 10%. So, 24,000 times 110%. So, ito yung annual rental for 20x3. 26,400. Okay. So, I hope clear class ha kung bakit naging 26,400. I hope maliwanag ha. 20x4, so syempre, same pa rin yan, 26,400. So, tapos na ulit yung first, or sorry, tapos na ulit yung dalawang year, no? So, every two years, mag-i-increase yung annual rental. So, pagdating ng 20x5, mag-i-increase na naman yung annual rental. If yung latest annual rental is 26,400, mag-i-increase na naman yan ng 10%. Kaya we are going to multiply 26,400 by 110%. So, the annual rental for 20x5 is 29,040. Okay, 29,040. And syempre sa 20x6, Ganun din, 29,040. Okay? Ayan. So, na-compute na natin, class, yung rental payment every year. So, i-aggregate na natin ito from 20x1 to 20x6. So, itotal lang natin itong lahat ng na-compute natin na... Um, Rent payment, so that's 146,880, okay? 146,880, yung total rent payment over the lease term na 6 years. So, we are going to divide this by 6 para makuha natin yung rent expense from periodic rental payment, which is 24,480. Okay? So, ito na ba yung answer natin sa number 1? Hindi pa, class, no? Kasi hindi pa natin nakoconsider yung contingent rent. So, isulod na natin, class, no, yung contingent rent computation. contingent rent. So, we have um, 20x1, 20x2, and 20x3. 
history. Okay? Ayan. Ang contingent rent class, no? 1% of annual revenue, okay? 1% daw ng revenue or 10% of net income. 10% of net income, whichever is lower. So, kung sino mas mababa sa dalawang yan class, no? Yun yung additional rent na iriremit ni Bang Chan Corporation dun sa lessor. Okay? Ayan. So, 20x1, 1% ng 300,000. So, 300,000 times 0 0.01, that's 3,000. Okay? 3,000. 10% ng net income nung 20x1. So, that's 1,300. So, syempre, mas mababa yung 1,300. Therefore, this is the contingent rent for 20x1. Okay. 20x2, so 1% ng revenue, that's 3,450. One, sorry, 10% ng net income, 52,500 nung 20x2. That's 5,250. So, mas mababa si 3,450. Yan yung contingent rent for 20x2. And lastly, 20x3, 1% ng revenue. That's 2,910. And 10% ng net income, 2,600. So, this is your contingent rent for 20x3. 2,600. Yung mas mababa. So, nakuha na natin class yung contingent rent every year. So, para masagutan na natin tong tatlong questions na to, idagdag na lang natin dyan no, yung rent expense from periodic rent payment na 24,480 Ayan. So, ito na yung answers natin, class, no? For questions 1, 2, and 3. So, the total rent expense to be reported for year 20X1 is, yung aggregate lang ng dalawang ito, 25,780. 20X2, yung question number 2. So, 29, ah, sorry, not 29, 3,450 plus... 24,480, 27,930, and for 20x3 class, 27,080. So, ito na yung answers natin for um, problem number 3. The rent expense for 20x1, 25,780. The rent expense for 20x2 is 27,930. And for 20x3, 27,080. Okay, so I hope class na clear yung ating naging discussion ng problem number 3. And that concludes na rin class our discussion ng operating list model under ng lessees accounting. So I hope na... Um, naging malinaw naman so far ang ating lecture, ang ating video tutorial for operating list model under ng lessing accounting. So, next topic na then class no, is um, leases pa rin, pero this time naman, yung sa side naman ng lessor. Okay, so yung lessor naman ang pag-uusapan natin sa next uh, video tutorial. So, kung nagugustuhan mo naman, class, ang ating mga video lesson at kung gusto mo rin naman na ipagpatuloy ko pa itong uh, paggawa ng video lesson kasi uh, medyo time-consuming din, class, no, ang paggawa ng video tutorial. So, kung gusto mo pong ipagpatuloy ko pa to I hope na you subscribe and share our um, platform or channel to others na aspiring accountants din. Kasi kung, makakatul kung nakakatulong sa'yo ito, um, maaaring makatulong din sa kanila no? na hindi pa na-discover itong ating platform. Ayan. So, again, class, ang next topic natin, um, 
leases pa rin, pero this time lessors accounting na. So, yung handout nito ay nandito lang sa description box. Kung, so, kung gusto mo ng kopya ng handout nito, um, you download lang uh, through the link na nandyan sa description box ng ating video lesson.